who was i in my past life i was a dog i was a cat i was a snake i was a man i was a woman or maybe i was the president of some country <laughs> or maybe i was a beggar i was a king who was who was that person who i was was i a human being or an animal or a bird who so these questions keep coming to me almost every alternate day <laughs> can you tell me who i was in my past life and i ask them even if you know how can you change it what will you do by doing but there is a way uh, by which we can understand our karmas okay so for example what do you think uh, the lagna lord represents in the horoscope what do you think he represents he he represents uh, focus not that you are focused he represents where are you focused it can be a good or a bad area that's separate but either it's good or bad you may be focused there wherever the lagnesh is in your bhav chart so therefore how do you know what this lagnesh is well have you ever asked why is your ascendant lord sitting there so suppose your lagnesh is in fifth house why is it not in fourth <laughs> why is it not in third why is it not in the 11th why is it not in the 10th why yes because if you want to know that then you must go to the bhagavad gita lord krishna says in the bhagavad gita antakale cha mameva smaran mukta kale varam antakale cha mameva smaran mukta kale varam what does this mean antakale cha anta means last kal means time <laughs> cha mam eva which means if one thinks of me smaran mukta kale varam then krishna says he comes back to me so that means the desire that you had at the end of your life is the cause of this birth so therefore your current horoscope which you have is a reflection of your desires during your last birth during the uh, last moment of your past life yes that's it thank you <laughs> so many times people think there is a uh, some fancy house which will indicate all your uh, uh past life karma so many times people think the dusthanas the sixth lord will show pending karma people think the eighth lord shows pending karma people think the 12th lord shows pending karma well sorry to disappoint you but all the 12 houses and your all, and all the nine planets are indicating your pending karma from your past life okay all right so let's discuss in short what do they represent and as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me regarding your past life <laughs> or the horoscope that you have in this life you can always go to the website down in my at the description section of my videos and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him irrespective of whichever life this is yeah so what does it mean when you say a uh, pending karma pending pending karma generally people think pending karma means uh, it's something very bad you know so many times when i do consultations i say you have some pending karma related to venus and they're like oh my god venus oh my god sir you are telling me i will have a divorce <laughs> so people think pending means uh, they have to give something well it can be that or it could be the opposite also you have to get something from somebody right so therefore every house shows your pending karma so the lord of the ascendant of this life okay not past life <laughs> shows the desires that you were having during the time of death see the scriptures are very clear when when uh, the time of death approaches then there is a pain which the human body experiences which is equivalent to thousands of scorpion bites so some say it is 10000 scorpion bites some say it is 40000 scorpion bites so and there are also statements in the scriptures which say that uh, when you are about to die so suppose you are about to die now this life you will uh, just before the moment of death you will have a flashback 
of 100 lifetimes. Wow, my God. Yes, within a flash of second. <laughs> moment actually, one twelfth of a second is a moment. Within a moment, you will have flashback. Suddenly you will see everything. It's like zoop. <laughs> yeah, that is why the scriptures are requesting by folded palms that you do spiritual practices so that at the end of your life, as Lord Krishna says, Antakalicha maam eva smaran muktva kalevaram that you can remember God at the end of this life and you can go back to him in this spiritual world, never never to take birth again because Krishna also says in the Gita, Yad gatua nanivar tante tadhama paramapama that one who reaches my abode does not come back. <laughs> so, Therefore, uh, if you want to know which is your most strongest spending karma, then it's very simple. You should check your ascendant lord. You should check your sun. You should check your moon. You should check your ascendant. Hmm. Which is your ascendant? Your Gemini Lagna, your Virgo Lagna, your Pisces Lagna, your Sagittarius Lagna. Why are you not Scorpio? Why are you not Taurus? Why are you not Capricorn? Why? There's a reason. <laughs> okay, so therefore, the first thing that we should give up doing when we learn astrology uh, regarding uh, past life astrology is to think that there is some shortcut. So many times people have asked me, uh, they saw some video in YouTube uh, where somebody told uh, your planet in the sixth house shows pending karma. Your sixth lord will show pending karma. Well, what about your tenth lord? What are you doing then? What about your third lord? What about your seventh lord? It's freaking nonsense because every freaking planet shows some freaking karma. <laughs> every planet shows karma. Every karak, Venus, karak for relationships, love, romance, beauty, creativity, attraction, charm, everything that feels good. Venus is that feel good factor. So Venus shows your karma. What? What kind of a karma you have related to your past life? How did you behave with your spouse? Seventh house, specifically marriage. How, how did you behave as a partner in marriage? How were you as a husband or wife in your previous life? And therefore, the scriptures also say that, uh, and you, there is one shortcut actually to know. You know you, you, suppose you don't know astrology. Then how will you know who you were in your past lives? What kind of desires you had? So there's a, a shortcut which scriptures give actually. So the scriptures say that uh, depending on your activity, I mean, there's no, it's not a shortcut, it's common sense basically. So they say that depending on the activities of this life, you can know who you were in the past life. And uh, depending on the situation that a particular soul is in now can also give an indication of the past. So for example, uh, in Kali Yuga, people are very much interested in showing their skin, you know, exposing their bodies like dogs. So uh, these people who expose their bodies like cats, dogs, animals, you know, they become trees. This is the verdict of the scriptures. Trees. Why? Because trees can, uh, uh, they can uh, expose their body in any direction, this way, that way, you know, the whole... <laughs> Nobody will ever go and say to the tree, hey, Mr. Uh, So-and-so tree, uh, neem tree or banyan tree or whichever tree it is. Can you please, do you need some clothes? You know, can you just put some clothes? So, because these humans have uh, exploited their bodies and also the bodies of others by uh, trying to gain wealth or assets uh, or trying to do wrong things with their skin, actually, that is why they are punished. Because then for thousands and thousands of years they will have to stay like that without uh, without any help you know it's like rain sunlight all the torture of the universe will be there imagine the situation of the trees trees are also souls actually they have they have a soul there so therefore uh, this is how you can know if if a person is uh, having too much sex desire and there we go heavy stuff now <laughs> a person having too much sex desire uncontrolled sexuality is destined to become a dog or a pig in the next life because that's what they do. Whenever, whenever you see a dog, the only thing he's con concerned is where, where is a female dog? You know, he dog, she dog. <laughs> All right. 
So same is with pigs actually. So that, that's how their behavior it is. Same, same is if somebody is too much envious, do you always feel you're jealous? You are like trying to hate others, pull others down, torture others, torment others, speak badly about others. Do you love to gossip? Then that's a preparation for the body of a snake. Because snakes, have you seen, you know, snakes will be going like this. Snake means, they, in scriptures it is always said, envious like snakes. Snakes are very envious. Envious means they will harm you even if you don't do anything. Like if you're going somewhere and then suddenly some snake comes and tap. Why? You, you didn't harm the snake, but maybe the snake is so envious that uh, the snake wants to kill you for no reason. Yes, that's how snakes are. So if you are always having this sense of hatred towards others, if you are always finding faults, you are criticizing others, you are pulling others down, then uh, maybe uh, that is your next destination. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you can get an ind indication of your past life from the horoscope and your mind. And you can get an indication of your next life from this uh, this body, this birth itself, these, from the activities of your current life, right? So therefore, you have to check the Karakas and the houses concerning the events, okay? So for example, what is your pending karma related to children? Well, you have to check Jupiter, the planet in the fifth and the fifth Lord. These three things, okay? Marriage, Venus, seventh house, seventh Lord. These three things. Family, Jupiter again, second house, second Lord. These three things, all right? So what's your karma related to career? Well, then you check the tenth house, the tenth Lord. And then you also check Mercury because he's the primary karaka for the tenth house. So there, by, by, by doing this, by studying your current horoscope, you can get very good clues. But the problem is people are not interested in doing this. People are interested in some uh, fancy sutras, which many people have manufactured uh, in YouTube these days. That Okay, your, uh, your fifth lord uh, is in the eighth. So uh, somebody told me that, uh, some, somebody told this person that his fifth lord was in eighth. And then somebody told him that uh, he had uh, murdered his own child okay, in past life. And now that same child has become uh, his wife in this life. Okay. And now this wife is tormenting him day and night. So he wants to get a divorce, but somehow she's not agreeing to give a divorce. So, uh, and then I'm like, what about your seventh lord, which is in the sixth? <laughs> Yeah, but people will not see all this. People people want to know uh, who was my father in my past life. Your father could be your husband or your wife or, or your mother also. They, they can be anybody. So therefore, the an intelligent person will always uh, ask this question. And when I'm saying this, many people will get outraged. They will last like anything now. An intelligent person will always ask this question. Whoever I was in my past life, Whoever he or she was, my husband, wife, mother, father. Can I change anything? Well, you cannot accept that fact. You cannot change any goddamn thing from the past. <laughs> so, the first thing we should do is we should stop wasting time uh, behind going to this, you know, past life, past life, past life, past life, past life. What the hell are you doing in this life? My dear sir, my dear madam, you're wasting this life by watching you know, uh, Game of Thrones, watching cricket, football, by eating sugar, by eating meat, drinking wine, alcohol, watching adult material, sleeping with multiple members of the opposite sex, or, <laughs> no, or you may not enjoy, but you are still, you know, hovering around, looking at members of the opposite sex, envious of others, jealous of others, you know, trying to pull others down. So, this is how you are wasting this life without doing spiritual practices. And then you are concerned who I was in my past life. It's very easy to know. I mean, uh, there are some techniques by which you can know you are, uh, you are, uh, who you were in your past life, you know, past life theory, regression theory or something like that. And many people tell me that they did all this and, you know, then they were more frustrated because the scriptures say that it is God's great mercy that you cannot remember your past lives. Why the hell do you want to remember your past lives? Imagine 
you you had a divorce you had a breakup or imagine you were very badly humiliated can you forget that experience even if it was 10 20 years back somebody humiliated you very badly can you forget that today till today i cannot forget it at least i don't know if you all are great souls but I, I, I get people who tell me, oh, I had this breakup, you know, 15 years back and I, I'm like done with relationships. So imagine you come to know who your husband was in your past life or who your wife was. Imagine you know who was your father. Imagine you know who was your mother. And then you remember all this and then you feel more terrible. You feel worthless. You don't feel like living. So please stop focusing on your past life. It will get you nowhere. It's a dead end. There is a reason why you do not remember your past life. All right. And that's because so that you are peaceful. <laughs> so therefore, forget about past life. Forget who you are. You are a cat or a dog or a donkey or a snake or you are anybody. Focus on this life. This is the life that you have. This, the activities of this life will decide your next birth the actions of this life will decide the destiny of your future birth or future births so therefore we already we already sleep eight to ten eight, seven to six to eight hours a day so uh, no one fourth to one third of our day is wasted in sleeping then we have to go to the toilet we have to clean our body then we have to work we have to eat food we have to talk to our family, to our husband, wife, children, mother, father. How much time do you have to do spiritual practices? How much time? It's barely one or two hours in a day. If you are able to do one hour of spiritual practice every day, you're really special. <laughs> because people, people can't even make out time for five minutes to do. What to speak of, you know, four hours every day. So therefore, this is the life that you got. So think about the present. Don't think about what will happen in the future. Do not waste your time. Future is still decent to think what will happen. But the highest level of stupidity is going and trying to see what's there in your past life. I know you hate me for saying this, but that's the truth because you cannot change it. This is because many times people want to be irresponsible in this life and they want to see if they can you know, tweak some changes. So suppose somebody said, uh, one somebody came and told to me that uh, one tantric told him that he had uh, murdered his mother in his previous life because of property issues and now that uh, his mother in past life has become some uh, uncle or somebody you know and then now that person is uh, stripping him in this current life from that same amount of property which he had uh, you know which with which he had some trouble with the mother so now he's asking me, what should I do? Uh, what, what can I do now? I said, uh, well, uh, you have to deal accordingly with this situation. But the thing is, even if you know, I mean, who your uncle is, was he your mother or father? I mean, what a useless stuff. How, will, how, how, how is it going to make any changes in your life? How? Have you ever asked this question to yourself? Never. So respect the authority of god do not try to challenge the authority of god 24 by 7 humanity has been doing this and they are becoming bigger and bigger idiots when they are doing this when god has given you forgetfulness of your past life why in the universe do you want to go and damage yourself all the time you may do that but you are just damaging yourself you are ruining your life so please stop doing that all right and the easiest way to know about your past life from your horoscope is by seeing your current horoscope. There you go. That is how you know. Okay. So every planet shows karma. Your eighth lord shows karma. Your seventh lord shows karma. Your sixth lord shows karma. People think the lord of Dustanas are the only ones which show karma. No, it's not like that. They show the karma which we have to give to others. Even if we don't like. And the trines and the kendra show karma which we give and we also get. But we are still giving and getting. You see, that business is always there. Giving, getting. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's what is past life astrology. Alright, so therefore I would highly, uh, I, I beseech you, whoever is watching this video, that please stop wasting time going into your past life. 
what age did you die some stupid questions people ask what age did i die in my past life you know was i a man or a woman in my past life how in the universe does it matter for this life take responsibility for your actions of this life change your habits include spiritual practices have a good diet meet good people meet spiritual people in the weekends that is going to change your life knowing you were a dog or a uh, swine in your past life is not going to change this life all right if you improve your habits only then your life will improve only then your next life will improve some people are even interested in knowing about who will i be in the next life or well, what about this life sir <laughs> this life you have maybe 20 30 years so sometimes people think oh my this life is so terrible will my next life also be like this well yes it will be like this if you do not make the necessary changes in your life your current life's problems and uh, difficulties is an indication of your stupidity of your past life your bad decisions of your past the sufferings which you gave to others they are coming back to you now so do you want the same thing to happen in the next life also with you no right i know that <laughs> so therefore be good to others make the right choices change your habits and read the bhagavad gita every day only then you may have a good next life <laughs> and that will happen irrespective of who you were in your past life or who you are in this life doesn't matter right there you go thank you for your patience and as usual if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me, then you can go to the website down in the description section. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know about his or her past life 24 hours. All right. What is there with you all the time? Just look to him and you will find him.